in Pittsburgh on a commuter flight. I had got my air. I saw a woman coming. Well, I don't know why women got to have 39 bags hanging on their body when they're going to get into a plane. You ever notice that? They got one strapped across here, and they're walking. And on a commuter airline, when you're flying to Pittsburgh at the airport, they're especially flying U.S. Air, I don't care if you got a boarding pass. It don't make no difference. When you go to gate 24, you got to check in because there's all kind of commuter planes. There's at least 25 of them out there, and they're directing. Boom, 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 they're just going. Here she comes. And I saw her, I, I, and, I, and she didn't go to the desk because she had a boarding pass. Everybody, if you got a boarding pass, that means you can walk onto the plane because it's a boarding pass. You got that? But airlines don't understand that sometimes. I guess they just had some paper they wanted to get rid of and they sent it to you. <laughs> I don't know. Here she come. She could tell she's tired, boy. So she hands the man the boarding pass so we can go out on the thing. He says, excuse me, ma'am. He says, uh, have you checked in at the gate? Now, the gate's like from me to those chairs. And, you know, it's because commuter flight, you know, it's a little bit. And uh, she says, well, no, but I got, I got my seat assignment, which was on there, and the board pass. He said, well, I'm sorry, you got to check at the gate. There's a bunch of people in line, see, behind her. And she had been standing there for a while, finally. Got, she said, you mean to tell me I got to go back there and get a board and check it? She said, but I have a boarding pass. You people sent me a boarding pass, which means I can board the plane because I have my seat is selected. Here's the seat. I'm sorry, ma'am. But uh, everybody's got board passes when you, when you take a commute out here. You got to check in here. She says, well, I am not going back. I've carried these bags all off. And at Pittsburgh, you got to walk around. It's kind of like an old Atlanta when you had to walk everywhere, you know. And he said, well, I'm sorry, man. You can't get on the plane. She said, what do you mean I can't get on the plane? <laughs> well, you got to check in the thing. And she said, in fact, he said, in fact, it's past 10 minutes and we've given up your seat. She said, no, you have it. He said, oh, yes, ma'am, I have. And man, I saw it, man. I seen the devil take that woman. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I was half mad at myself. I said, well, at least I ain't sinning. I'll just watch her sin a while. <laughs> Bless God, I was mad at him too. <laughs> I had to repent. Don't miss anything. Listen, I'm going to tell you some of my faults. The reason why you're laughing, because you've probably been in the same situation. <laughs> See, if I'd have lived in the flesh by the faith of the Son of God, I wouldn't have been mad at those people. She takes one of them things off. She said, I'm not carrying these bags anymore. And she drops them right in front of the exit. He said, oh, ma'am, you got to move your bags. She says, I ain't got to move. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and no, there, there was no interpreter present, but everybody understood what the woman said. <laughs> Man, I seen her get hot. She's getting, she was a very elegant lady, a pretty woman. She was about 45. Beautiful lady, you know, really nice jewelry, dress nice. Dragging them bags, I know it was tough. He said, well, ma'am, you're just going to have to get out of line. She said, no, I ain't getting out of line. I'm going to get in your face. <laughs> There's a guy next to me. We, were we both backed up against the wall. <laughs> I'll never forget that. If you ever go to Pittsburgh, you go to that gate 24 down. You'll, you know what I'm talking about, man. I backed up against the wall. She ran back and hit that guy. <laughs> Bam! She just hit him. Man said, did you see that? I went, Ugh. She turned around and cussed everybody out, man. Cussed everybody in the line. So everybody just backed away from the line. She said, you go get that pass. Now I'm getting on that blankety black plane. But here come the police. <laughs> boy, here come two guys. They come to get her. And one guy said, hey, boys, you better have some shields. This woman will scratch your eyes out, man. <laughs> she was mad. She hit that guy. Drove it. He got so mad, he took her bags. True story. And punted them. <laughs> just place kicked her. <laughs> You kicked my bag. She took off a high heel, son, and went and commenced to busting that boy. Now here's the police, and I'm up against the wall saying, yeah. uh, inside. Hit him on the other side. God. Aggravating thing. Now, I ain't no use to lie to you, that's the truth. They drag that woman off the jail. I mean, they drag her out of there. Bag still there. Or the man start fixing himself up. She busted him in me. He had a puffy eye. She hit him, buddy. <laughs> hit him good. He said, you know, the person gets it. We have to now board the plane. Ain't nobody making a move. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord spoke to me. Said you could at least pray. What I should have done was just said, I rebuke this devil in Jesus' name. But I didn't want no high heel in my head. 
seen it happen so many times. Because they can just hear it take the socks off you. Sitting there, somebody says, you've got my seat. No, I don't. I, my boarding pass says, well, I don't care what your boarding pass says. you got my seat. I had a woman one time with a dog in her hand. Supposed to be in the thing. She said, you got my seat. I said, oh, I'm sorry. And like I said, no, it's uh, 10D. Well, mine's 10D. I said, well, they must have made a mistake. She said, well, get up. <laughs> that made me fashé. I said, ma'am, I wouldn't mind giving you my seat, but with that attitude, I ain't giving you nothing. And she threw her dog in my lap. And he threw that dog in my lap. It was one of them hops of ops of things. Ha, ha, ha. So I stuffed my board and passed down that dog's mouth. That dog going, she said, you killing my dog. I picked him up by the head. I said, I'll wring his neck like a chicken, you jack of me. I mean, I lost it. I was wrong. I lost it. Now that, listen, that's years ago. That's when I was a baby Christian. I have since grown in the Lord. That dog liked to die on a Delta boarding pass. Caused all kind of ruckus. The man with the red coat, Delta, come back. He said, what's the matter? I said, I stuffed my boarding pass down that dog's mouth. I said, I'll tell you one thing too, Jack. I was about to stuff it down her mouth. I said, I'm going to tell you something. You better get this woman out of my face now. Boy, and all of a sudden, wham, conviction power. I said, God said, Jesse! Lord, I didn't mean you lying. You did mean to. But that was all going on inside. And there's a couple of guys, we finally sat down, they got the woman out of there, man, all that kind of stuff. They got the, uh, a, some kind of little box for that dog. All right, mama just looking at me. I'm looking at the other guy next to me. So I tell you one thing, I've done it myself. A woman like that need to have a face slap. You know, you know, men talk, they don't mean nothing. You know. I said, well, I said, I, I really, I'm about ready to say, listen, I, he said, uh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I said, I'm a motivational speaker. <laughs> I ain't stupid. <laughs> he said, well, you sure motivated her, boy. <laughs> I said, no, sir, I, I'm not a motivational speaker. <laughs> what are you, I said, I'm a. <laughs> I said, I'm a preacher. He said, I like a preacher with spunk. <laughs> That's what he said. I said, listen, I sinned. He said, it's okay with me, Jack. I said, no, no, you don't understand. He, I told him, I said, I've sinned. Yeah, it's all right with me, man. Now, I could have stopped that. Now, let's get back to the word. How could you have stopped that? If I would have, standing there in the flesh, would have lived by the faith of the Son of God. 